So it's Friday the 20th and welcome to Elmwood Studios with my friend Gary and I'm Laurie. And recently there's been a, a discussion thread on a forum on the internet called hypnothoughts.com. Some of you may be familiar with it. And the discussion's around the subject of mesmerism. Mm -hmm. And within that discussion, uh, somebody mentioned a particular phenomena which was possible with mesmerism. Now we're not talking about modern day hypnosis here, we're talking about original mesmerism using the power of animal mag magnetism. And the discussion brought up a particular technique and I remembered years and years and years ago at a, a week-long workshop in a place called Malvern where we were learning psychomuscular release therapy with Peter Blythe. And late one night Peter Blythe told us the story of his father Henry who was um, a famous hypnotherapist in Gloucester. He had a practice there for a long, long time, but he was also a stage hypnotist and he was a classical mesmerist. And Henry Blythe passed on to Peter Blythe in complete secret. This particular technique of classical mesmerism. And under contract of keeping it secret for at least 20 years, Peter Blythe, at three o'clock in the morning, showed us this particular technique, and he demonstrated on me. So what I'd like to do, it's a very short technique, is demonstrate on Gary. Okay. So, just for a moment, can you just turn this way, Gary? Mm-hmm. And what I'd like you to do is just relax your arms a bit, and then can you just raise them so the fingers are dropping down, and your wrists nice and re really relaxed. Just let them go floppy. That's it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few deep breaths, and I'm going to channel the uh, mesmeric energy. Now, some people might refer to this as key energy, prana in different traditions. People call this different things, and the discussion on hypnothoughts, part of that thread is saying that this energy that's used for mesmerism is very, very similar, if not the same energy. So, can you just relax that finger? Even That's it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to raise some chi energy. You just stand there. And then I'm going to get my fingers rather close to yours, but I'm not going to touch them. So let's just hope the camera picks this up because what's going to happen is the chi energy is now going to flow from each of my fingers into your fingers. That's the left hand, that's the right hand in the right position. So you should be able to just start to feel a very slight tingling. Can you feel that? Yeah, okay. Now what will happen is the tingling will build up to a point where you can almost not stand it. When it reaches that point, just nod your head and let your eyes close. So just, I'm just going to... I must remember the deep breaths. Can you feel the energy building up? Has it reached your elbows? Just in the hands and the wrists? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I'll just intensify it a little bit more. So as soon as it builds up to that point where you can almost not stand any more of it, just let your eyes close down and nod your head. That's right, and then just let your arms drop. And I'd like you just Remaining on the spot where you are, just rotate your body a little bit just so the camera can see you. Just keep rotating just to there, that's it. Okay. Now, Gary and I haven't discussed this, so it's going to be a, a very interesting thing. But what we need to do, Gary, is just pay attention to the sensations in your body. For the camera, I'll just make sure you can see. I'm not going to touch Gary. But what I'm going to do... There we go. Can you feel that happening, Gary? Mm. Oops. And that's all there is to it. As everybody in the world can see, no physical contact, no collusion. What's happening inside your body right now, Gary? How's it feel? Fine, I feel relaxed. What did it... How was it when you felt your hands starting to move? It was like it was moving on its own. Uh, what were the thoughts that went along with that? Uh, my hands moving. Yeah. Do you know why it was moving? Hmm, was yours moving too? My hand was moving too. <laughs> Could you... See my hand moving? No. How did you know my hand was moving? 
I don't know, I didn't know that my arm was moving until it started to. Excellent. Anytime you're ready, you can just open your eyes. That is classical mesmerism. How does he do it? You may well ask. <laughs> Answers on a postcard, please. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. Thanks.